When the team tackled a medley of your mini myth requests, this fable of digit deception didn't make the cut. In a viral video sensation, a firefighter appears to break a car window Whoa! with nothing more than the tippity tap of a single digit. Fact or firefighting fake? <laughs> Okay, so here's the theory behind this whole video. See, every system, such as this piece of glass in the car, has what's called a natural frequency. That's a frequency that it wants to vibrate at. Now, if you manage to find that natural frequency, and if you can oscillate the system at it for long enough and hard enough, it could set up a resonance wave and potentially go unstable and shatter. To test the theory, it's a simple setup. A couple of cars with windows and a little showbiz. We're all going to give it a tap. I think finding the resonant frequency with a little tippy tap is going to be a little bit harder than presented on the internet. I think there might be a little trick there. He sure made that look a lot easier in the video. Despite repeated attempts from Carrie and then Tori that match the viewer video. I, I don't think the window is going to shatter, but I may have shattered the bones of my fingertips. The results are less than well made. And despite Grant's extensive training in the martial art of digit destruction. All right, here's it, it's done. He doesn't do any better. Car one, Grant zero. The team smells a fake viral video rat. Clearly there's some kind of trick involved here. Because cars go through all kinds of different vibrations, different frequencies, as they're driving on the freeway or over bumpy roads. And you know what? Windows don't spontaneously shatter in real life. But the question remains, how was it done in the faked video? I think the guy had something in his glove. Something maybe as simple as, say, a center punch. I mean, he had a pretty loose glove on, and. This could be substituted for a finger. Why is your finger so elongated? My spindly fingers couldn't do it on their own, but I bet you they could now. Whoa! Oh, wow! Whoa! <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh! It's like magic! That's What's up? awesome! Nice work! Meanwhile, Tori has an idea to finish with a bang. Now, one theory is that tapping on the window creates a vibration that actually shatters the window. So I went out and got this personal handheld massager. Listen to this thing buzz. I mean, this is a lot of vibration. I think this is definitely going to do the trick. I'm just going to put it in my glove. Let's see if the others figure it out. All right. Ready for my technique. All right. Let's... Wait, wait what is that? It's my phone. It's on vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Tori's attempt didn't climax in a glass shattering explosion. Well, it's not working. What, uh, I, went, ah! I went and got a personal massager, and well, I thought you know maybe the vibration would cause it to break. But... I'm gonna go put this in storage for you. Okay, I'm gonna have one more technique. All right. For his second attempt, Tori, ever the master of deception, has something up his sleeve. You guys ready? Uh huh. Work. Nice try, but you fooled no one. So, what's the rap? Well, as far as the resonant frequency part of the myth goes, I think it's busted. But with a little trickery, you can break a window. Yeah, but there is no way that you could ever just tap a window with a finger and shatter it. Totally busted. Yeah, it's busted. Whatever he was doing, there was clearly something else going on there.